the greatest part of this whole experience is probably seeing your first wave. It's like, it's an insane feeling. Well, I want to get out How's of the pool. How's this heat? It's 8.30. We're going to stay in the pool all day. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking sick when you see your first wave. Oh, right? oh, Already in the that. tube. Hamza. It is. Yeah, he's, what? he's actually tearing the bag on this little round nose thing. What the heck? Get out. Can he fit in the tube? <laughs> <laughs> ah! I just saw a replay of the Grom. Get, it spat for him a little right. <laughs> That's crazy. It's so fun seeing your first wave. So good. I've just rocked up and seen the first couple of waves and it's like freaking dream world for us. Like Chris Hemsworth is surfing right now and then we've got a crazy crew. And now I don't even know what to say. I'm stoked. Oh my god, mate. Pretty nervous. I don't know, I like. I think once I catch a wave, I'll be fine as, but. Yeah, I'm definitely nervous. I've surfed one pool once, but it's, it has, it's nothing like this. Like, all I want to do is just get barreled.
How are you? <laughs> Stay in the shade. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're, uh, we're about to walk through the front door of Surf Abu Dhabi. And I can tell you it's truly something special. Come with me. There's so many different zones in this establishment, but um, I'll do my best to show you around. It's just incredible. And the greatest part of this whole experience is probably seeing your first wave. It's an insane feeling to see what this thing produces. Let's go. Oh man, like to summarize it, but there's just a high grade restaurant right there. There's the deck where you jump in and out of the water. This pool is chilled, which is a lifesaver because it's about 40 degrees. That pool is insane. This is where you kind of hang when you're just lazing around after a few waves. There's like the lockers and the change rooms and everything you could imagine. You don't even have to think for yourself. There's just people clicking in your fins, putting your leggy on, waxing your board, handing you waters and towels. One of the boys straight off the plane was getting ready really quick because he had about a three minute warning till his wave was about to break. Someone even peeled a banana for him because he was hungry. <laughs> you don't have to think for yourself. It's just like insane treatment. It's the time of a life. All right, well, this is kind of the zone that you spend most of your time in if you're uh, a surfing. There's like uh, all the lockers and there's just comfortable zones everywhere. There's board racks to get ready. And then just out here is like crazy change room showers, everything you need. Yeah, the boys are all lined up here next to each other. We've got our names on our lockers. When you finish surfing, <laughs> they bring your board back to your locker, basically. Like I said, it's just like spoiled rotten here. We just make a mess. I've used about 10,000 one day because they're just <laughs> so many of them. There's a shitload of boards to ride. Um, anything you can think of is here, basically. All these things. So obviously, I wouldn't ride these. They're Kelly's boards. But over here, there's a few Mayhems. But yeah, there's just like boards for days. Every size and shape you could think of. A little bit of gym equipment that I wouldn't dare go near. I get my exercise in the pool. Oh yeah, upstairs. Let's go. Sick lounging area. There's kind of some coaching rooms here and the view from here is insane. You're just kind of towering above the pool. So yeah, this is a sick spot. So Mitch Cruz is the boss hog of this place basically. He is, from what I can tell and what the staff tell me, the greatest addition to this establishment. He's just got a level of enthusiasm that just fires everyone up. He's a great surfer. He's been dominating this pool, but he's moved his whole life over here. He's living in Abu Dhabi. Originally, I thought, what a madman. But now that I've seen this whole setup and what he does and how crucial he is to the whole program, I, th I think he's like the greatest addition to this place. And I'm a huge fan of Mitch. He's just so much fun to hang with and surf with and he's just got everything dialed. He's just got phones and laptops and walkie-talkies going all at once, and he just orchestrates the whole thing perfectly. Oh, shit. Do you just want to jump in? What's up? Yeah, so you have probably seen glimpses of this crazy train. Uh, it's an absolute hog of a machine. There's like a foil that can be pivoted on certain degrees and angles and only the slightest adjustments can make such massive changes to the wave characteristics. So the size of the basin in terms of length, it's 690 metres long and 150 metres wide. The ride, I mean, if you want to milk it, you can get up to like 60 seconds, but roughly averaging around a 50 second ride. The basin has 80 million litres of water in it and it takes two weeks to fill. Where we pull this water from is straight out of the sea. So that's what's different and sets us apart from other wave pools too is it's salt water. There's like a pipe sitting 650 metres out at sea. It's sucked into this facility here on site. It's a desalination facility. It's actually the most expensive part of the, the facility. They pull the water in, they test it, they do reverse osmosis, get it to a certain level of purity. The salinity of the ocean here in the Arabian Gulf, it's a lot higher. So we're bringing it down to kind of like a normal level. The process is quite complex. That's a very dumbed down version, but it's, it's uh, quite impressive. This is my own dog, Andrew, couple of lords. Yeah. Yeah, the boys. Hey. 
So these renegades here are water safety French oh. allegiance. Oh yes. They're the ones that keep everyone safe and sound in the basin. A couple beers, Savo boys? Yeah. They'll be in. <laughs> Biggest lords, eh? So yeah, this is we're, we're doing a bit of a lap of the pool. It's all like it's very long, it's crazy. And usually you ride the wave all the way along, surfing into this fence. definitely flown through here so many times and never left the airport so I was so excited to have a good reason to leave the airport and explore and then kind of got the most surfed out I've gone this whole year. I definitely learned a lot being a female here and you know you have to learn and respect their culture and am I allowed to wear a bikini surfing? I feel like once you got in the gates of the wave pool it was all good. I didn't know much about Abu Dhabi in general, or especially this particular area that we're in. It's a basically a man-made island. Driving here just feels like you're on another planet and in the future. Oh my God, look at that wave. It's, it's just a, a jaw-dropping setting. It's just so weird to see these crazy hotels in the background. All this sand is being brought in, and this island is just dedicated, I guess, to sports. It's just the greatest thing I've ever experienced, to be honest. I can't believe this is all man-made. Not only the wave, but this whole island that we're on. But just looking at that backdrop just trips me out. I think you can you could ride a bloody door on this wave. It's so perfect. Epoxies, PUs, everything feels good. It definitely feels a lot more like the ocean being salt water. That's amazing. The conditions in this thing, obviously flawless. The longer you wait between waves, the better quality wave you will get. So we've been messing with the interval, everything from three minutes to 10 minutes. And if you do wait the interval of 10 minutes, you get gifted the glassiest, most beautiful wave you've ever seen. I don't think the ocean could even replicate those kind of conditions. It's just pure silk. And it was honestly the most surreal, silky tube I've ever been in. It was just magic. So uh, yeah, the conditions that you can get if you are willing to be patient are just like nothing you've ever experienced. It's insane. One of the best kind of sessions I had, which was with four of us, four seems to be like a good number. We were doing split waves. So 
the wave is super long, you and your friend would basically split the wave. Someone would take the top shot and then someone would take the bottom shot and then the wave would come back the other way, vice versa. Someone would do the top, someone would do the bottom. So even just half a wave, you still get to bang out three turns and get a tube at least. And then you pass it on to your friend. It's, um, it's insane. And then before you know it, the wave's coming back. So it's like really high pace. That one completely torched us. We were like so ruined by the end of that day. Um, but it's a really fun way to do it. It does feel a bit weird burning your friend <laughs> when they're just getting drained towards you. Um, it, was, it was so much fun. And you're all screaming and yelling at each other and high-fiving, so it's like, it's exactly what you want in a surf session. I highly recommend wave splitting. I feel like you're just able to push a lot harder and let the pressure off. The top to bottom, you're just so nervous. You, you don't want to mess up the clip, but then you're like kind of softing it sometimes. But when it all comes together, it's pretty phenomenal. So there's pros and cons to both, but I feel like I got a lot of backside barrel tutorials <laughs> right in front of my face. I'm like, okay, if you can't figure this out <laughs> by the end of this trip, you're blown. <laughs> I would 100% come and do this again. Like, I've been here for five days. I've seen so many waves and I've ridden so many waves. My body's so sore, I was running on pure adrenaline but I have not got bored of this wave one bit. Every time that thing fires up, I just get so excited. It's incredible. So yes, I'd love to come back. It's, it's sick. You can't get bored of it.